Hi everyone, my name is Forrest. Last year I started Forest for the Trees van design and this is my second van. If you're interested in purchasing this van, it's currently up for sale. You can click the link below in the description to reach out to me directly. Otherwise, let's get on with the tour. This 2013 Mercedes Sprinter Van 2500 has 98,000 miles. Sprinter vans can easily get up to 300 or 400,000 miles, so this van has plenty of life left in it. This van has a 144 inch wheelbase and is a high roof. It just received a brand new paint job in forest green. The updated paint job complements the black trim and modern interior design. An exterior light bar was added on the front of the vehicle to help illuminate dark spaces while off-roading. The LED switch is conveniently located in the driver's cabin. On top of the van are four 100 watt solar panels for a total of 400 watts of solar power to charge the battery. The interior design of the van follows a Mediterranean theme seen in the lighter colors, bronze accents, and arched doorway. When inside, you feel like you're in a modern luxury apartment on wheels. To maximize natural light, I added two skylights, one in the living space and one in the bathroom. Van windows are set at a viewing height for seated passengers, so they don't bring much light or visibility into the space when standing. Skylights make up for this in a big way. A skylight cover that matches the ceiling can pull over the living space skylight to darken the space when you want more privacy or to sleep. The ceiling slats create length in the van while also adding a beautiful accent that breaks up the cream colored ceiling and walls. I wanted the interior to feel like a modern studio apartment on wheels. So I decided to section off the living space and driver's cabin with a wall divider. This provides plenty of privacy, better insulation, and a beautiful arched doorway that ties the space together nicely. Lighting can be everything in a space at night. That's why there are three zones of indirect lighting to fully illuminate the space and change the mood as needed. One zone is at the ceiling, a second below the upper kitchen cabinets, and the last at the floor. All lights are dimmable with their LED touch switches found above the kitchen counter. I decided to keep the windows smaller to maximize privacy. One window lies above the bench, the second above the kitchen counter. To take advantage of outdoor views, I positioned the bench along the back doors and a passenger swivel seat in the driver's cabin. This van also houses a full kitchen complete with a two burner Furion induction stove, quartz countertop, deep farmhouse sink, bronze pull-down faucet, and a 37-quart fridge. The upper and lower cabinets create plenty of storage space for all of your kitchen needs. On the left side of the kitchen are four LED switches for your three zones of lighting and the water pump. There's a hidden 120-volt outlet above the counter for any appliances such as a blender or espresso machine. All of the cabinets have locks on them, so nothing will fly out while you're driving. Also housed in the upper cabinets is your 12 volt fuse block. Hiding in the back of the van is a fully tiled bathroom that includes a shower and toilet. The dark tile is a stark contrast from the brighter living space. The ceiling skylight focuses your vision upward toward light and glimpses of trees. The shower includes a rain head shower head and a handheld sprayer. The four gallon hot water tank makes it easy to take hot showers whenever you want. The floor has a herringbone tile complete with a tile insert drain which creates one cohesive floor design. 
The toilet is a separate composting toilet that feeds liquids straight to the gray water tank. I also installed a shower vent fan to take unwanted moisture out of the van while you shower. Pull the handheld sprayer outside of the van to take a shower outside or wash your feet off, your bike off, or your dog before getting back into the van. The circular mirror is backlit with an LED light strip. The dimmable LED switch is located just outside the shower. Under the bench platform is your 45 gallon water tank. A tank of this size is typically only seen in large RVs. This ensures you are as independent as possible of resources like water. You can go for two to three weeks without filling up on water with this tank. Below the van is your 25 gallon gray water tank, complete with a warming pad and motorized ball valve to empty. The bench pulls out into a full sized bed that sleeps someone up to six foot two. This intricate design pulls half of the slats outward on 500 pound drawer slides and locks in place. The cushions fit together to create a full size bed with six inches of memory foam. Just behind the cushions are three LED switches for your battery warmer, gray tank warmer, and motorized ball valve. At your feet, you'll see 120 volt outlets plus USB and micro USB port to charge laptops, phones, and other electronics. Your electrical system and hot water tank are housed beneath the bench. Simply hinge up the bench to see your 600 amp hours of lithium batteries, Victron MultiPlus 3000 watt inverter, Victron solar charge controller, B2B alternator charger, and 120 volt breaker box. Just next to the sliding door is a wardrobe complete with three shelves and two drawers. This will easily house all of your clothing. Two table and desk options are available for remote work and eating. Both use the Lagoon Table system. The first option is in front of the bench. The second option is attached to the wall divider. Simply swivel the passenger seat around, attach the lagoon table, and enjoy views out the side of the van while working or eating a meal. Ventilation in a van is key, so I installed a max air vent fan. Simply open your windows and set the van to your desired speed to create airflow in the van on hot days. The living space is heated by a 12 volt diesel heater with an LED screen to set your desired temperature. The heater is hooked up to the van's diesel tank. Fill the van with diesel fuel, then you're ready to use your heater. The wall divider has felt on the driver's side to match the existing finishes. I installed a new stereo with Apple CarPlay so you can easily navigate while listening to your favorite music. A backup camera was also installed to ensure easy and safe parking. Again, if you're interested in purchasing this van, feel free to click the link below in the description to contact me directly. I also linked my Instagram account so you can follow along for future builds and be notified when future vans are up for sale. Thanks for following along and I'll see you again soon.